I'm having an issue though. I don't know if I want to go that way or that way. Maybe Casey Jr. can guide me in his infinite wisdom because I have no clue which one I want to go to. Who knows how long I'll stay in here and figure it out. California adventure it is. Thanks, Casey. Good day, everyone. Brad here at Disneyland to do whatever we feel like doing. Don't really have much of an agenda. Just want to go explore, have some fun, and try and see uh, what updates we can find. Let's go. Right here in the entrance, they have a time capsule. I don't think I ever paid this much attention. It's nice that they started it in 2012, though, after they got the park all, you know, fixed up and got rid of the bad stuff like Superstar Limo. 2037. Here comes Donald being completely bombarded. Fist bump, Donald? Thank you. Have a good one. It's always a good way to start the day with a fist bump from Donald. Over here, there's some a uh, lot of lights going on. Same across on this side as well. But what were they used for? I know they had Pixar Parade. Is that what it was for? I don't know. Could you let me know if you know? Because I'm not sure why these lights were here. They've definitely got some building going on. And look at the uh, look at the green tarp right there. I don't think I've seen that before. I've always wondered if the second floor area of the Pacific Wharf, they're like offices or something. It just seems like too big of an area to be nothing, just a facade. And I've seen people walk up there before, cast members. It'll be kind of interesting to see. Summer is in full swing today, especially out here in Pixar Pier where there's not a lot of shade. In fact, I'm getting really thirsty. Maybe we could check out the Lamplight Lounge. What do you say, Luxo? Lamplight Lounge it is. Now I will say, anytime I've been here, they give you a number to text you back, and within a minute, you get the confirmation text. Maybe I'll get lucky today. Now in case you didn't know, across from the Incredicoaster over at Lamplight Lounge, down there, underneath that section, is a special vault room. And that's the uh, balcony you get. So you can actually, I think you need a certain amount of people in your party, but it's a special room you can eat in. And you can come out on that balcony and uh, watch the ride. It's been a while since doing it last time and the line is unnaturally short for single rider. This is Radiator Springs. Let's head over to the other side and check out what's going on in Disneyland Park. On the way over to Disneyland Park, I don't want to say these banners are new, but I have not noticed them. Like, I like films of Hatbox Ghost. I mean, they must be newer, but probably not since the last time I've been here. How neat would it be if you can go up there and just sit down and watch the crowds come into the park? Especially in the morning. I guess the closest thing you get is the rocking chairs further up Main Street. Did you ever notice there was a makeshift tree in the middle of this store? Because I didn't. Got some fancy new stuff here. Photo albums, license plates, and golden bottles. Are those lights at the bottom of the fountain here? They don't really much look like them. But they're, in a, they're arranged in a pattern that would look really cool if they were lit up at night. I've never been back here to check. You know, I don't think I've been through the castle since they opened it. The banner, wow, yeah, I definitely haven't been up here because I would have noticed these nice, newer banners. Speaking of things I've never noticed, this mailbox here is themed differently because it's in Fantasyland. You'll see all the ones on Main Street, but this one looks a little bit different, but there's a, there's a skull there. But look, it's a hidden Mickey. I sure hope Forky didn't find his way in there. Just look how perfectly... This is cut. It's just satisfying to look at how well done the landscaping is here. 
I've never seen anyone actually get that sword lifted up. I must say, this Galaxy's Edge sign looks really bad and out of place here in Fantasyland. Amongst everything else. This is not the best place to put it. It just really kind of throws off the mood for Fantasyland. Because you still have plenty of ways to go before you even leave Fantasyland area. <laughs> just taking the kids to join the resistance. I know. <laughs> Open sesame. See, that one works. That's one of my favorites coming out of Docking Bay 7. Little Roaster guy's the best. Even though I've never been to Ronto Roasters. I feel like I'm being followed. Just moment, young traveler. Maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like here in front of the Jolly Holiday, there was an information booth. It feels so empty out here. Like, was there something here? There must have been something here. If there was, if you know, please let me know, but I... I really think there was something here. Strange. Or at least like a wait time thing. There was... Huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm baffled. If, if you know, please let me know. I'm gonna say something unpopular. I think yes. the Ghirardelli at DCA is a lot better than the ice cream parlor on Main Street. The ice cream's better, and there's almost always a shorter line. And they have a bigger menu as well at Ghirardelli. All right, that is gonna do it today from Disneyland. Uh, I did get to go to Lamplight Lounge. I don't think I recorded any of it, but the sticky or the crispy piggy wings are amazing. Probably one of my favorite things at Disney altogether. So uh, if you come here, get that at Lamplight. It's like the best thing they have. Um, fun day though. So that's going to do it. As always, thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.